Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some intriguing and controversial news coming out of Singapore's political scene. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long's recent revelations in Parliament regarding Transport Minister S. Isruan's current pay package have sparked heated debates and criticism from the public. As many of you might be aware, Minister S. Isruan has been embroiled in an ongoing corruption probe, and due to this investigation, he has been barred from his ministerial duties. During his absence from office, his pay has been reduced to $8,500 per month. However, he is still drawing an MP's allowance, which amounts to over $16,000 per month. The revelation of his reduced pay has ignited a fresh wave of criticism from Singaporeans online. Netizens have expressed their frustration at the stark difference between Minister Iswaran's salary and that of ordinary citizens. Even with a reduced pay, Minister Iswaran is earning significantly more than most Singaporeans, adding to the perception that politicians are out of touch with the struggles of the common man. Many online users have voiced their desire to have such a high monthly salary, questioning whether ordinary Singaporeans would ever have the opportunity to earn such an amount. The $8,500, which is considered reduced for the minister, is still substantial for most people and further deepens the sense of disparity between politicians and the public. The lack of significant consequences for a minister under investigation for corruption has also raised eyebrows. Critics argue that Minister Iswaran should have been suspended without pay as a minimum measure to ensure accountability and uphold the integrity of the political office. In Parliament, Prime Minister Li Xian Long defended the decision based on the principle of presumption of innocence. He cited the practice within the civil service, where individuals under investigation are interdicted and placed on half pay, subject to a specific range. If proven innocent, their back pay is reinstated, but if found guilty, their pay is stopped entirely, and other consequences follow. PM Lee asserted that this approach is reasonable and justifies the $8,500 monthly pay Minister Iswaran received instead of his normal salary. He highlighted the need to be fair to the minister and consider the interests of the government and taxpayers. Moreover, PM Lee explained that removing the MP allowance would require a motion to interdict the MP as an MP, which had not been done in this case. Minister in charge of the public service, Chen Chun Singh, clarified that an MP's allowance is withheld only after the MP is suspended from parliamentary service, as per the Parliament, Privileges, Immunities, and Powers, Act. The public's reaction has been mixed, with some appreciating the presumption of innocence and the need for fairness during the ongoing investigation. Others, however, remain critical of the entire situation questioning whether the ruling party truly understands the struggles faced by ordinary citizens. So, viewers, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this controversial pay package for Minister S. Isran during the ongoing corruption probe? Do you believe that the decision to reduce his pay while maintaining his MP allowance is justified, or do you think more severe consequences should have been imposed? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on current affairs. We value your support and look forward to hearing your insights on this important issue. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. Thank you for watching.